Welcome to the Cyber Sky Podcast. Today's rant brought to you by an Apple product, specifically my MacBook Pro, which I'm having an issue with. Now this type of problem has to do with the USB ports. So even though it's happening on my MacBook Pro, it's not necessarily an Apple thing. Other PC brands like Samsung, Acer, Lenovo, Dell, they all have USB-C now. So maybe you're having the same issue. I don't know. You tell me in the comments if this is happening on your laptop as well, or if Apple is indeed the problem. Now, those of you who know me know I am definitely a Mac guy. Don't get me wrong, I own and work on PCs in my studio and I have a home-built machine. Shout out to my boy, Dennis Mitchell, who put that together. That has been a powerful machine to use for my music studio. But I've been using Mac computers since about 1999. I started using the iMac G3 for music production. The ones that came out five or six different colors, I had the translucent green, and I produced a lot of music on that up until around 2003. I used to have iPods before we found out that phones could do the same thing and streaming became a better way to play music, but I never liked iPads and iPhones when they came out, never used them. So I'm not an Apple fanatic. I just like computers. My phone is Android and I don't plan on ever using an iPhone. So let's talk about this problem I started having recently with my MacBook Pro, the one I'm recording this on right now. It's a late 2017, 13 inch, 3.5 dual core, Core i7 with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Ooh, it also has four Thunderbolt 3 ports. Say that fast four times. Four Thunderbolt 3 ports, four Thunderbolt 3 ports. It's funny when you go to about this Mac, it defines the model by the size of the screen, the year, and those four Thunderbolt 3 ports because it's those Thunderbolt ports that I'm having problem with. You see, recently the USB-C ports have been losing connection. The computer's not holding onto the cable, so it slips out. Unlike my Samsung Android phone, which also uses USB-C and has no problems. It's pretty tight. You can even hang the phone. See that? It even holds the phone. It will not come out. You really got to pull it. But on the MacBook, which I'm using, let me plug that back in. There's nothing that holds onto the cable. Like it doesn't click in with a satisfying feeling. Like like the phone does. That means when I'm charging, sometimes the cable comes loose and then I'm not charging. Or when I'm using a portable device, like this one that I use for my final cut uh, video work. This is a four terabyte drive from Seagate and uh, it has a USB cable, but I use a USB adapter. And then I plug that USB-C into the computer. When I'm using these, they lose connection very easily. Usually I'm using Final Cut Pro 10 editing footage that's on the drive. And when the cable disconnects, I get a message that the drive was unplugged without being ejected, which is bad for your drive and your computer. And my session crashes. I have to reconnect, open the file from the drive, and get back to what I'm doing. Every time this happens, I worry that I'm gonna lose my last edits or corrupt the file, lose my whole session, maybe even damage the video footage. Now, I wasn't sure if I had had a short in one of the cables. Maybe it's a bad cable, right? Because when something's not connecting correctly, you have to get to the source. Is it the cable? Is it the port? Is it the device that you're connecting? Is it your laptop? There's always a chance that this could be something wrong with this or the wire or the connection in here. So just so you know, I do have another cable that plugs into my drive that has a direct USB-C. But the reason I have this one plugged in right now is I was switching cables and testing out different cables. So I tried this one. So I tested it with another cable, but the same thing kept happening. Then to see if it was just one of the ports and not the others, I took turns plugging in the drive to each of the four different ports, two on the left, two on the right, and continued editing. But the drive still kept losing connection. And then I thought maybe I moved around, bumped the drive or tugged the wire or something. So I put the computer on a very steady surface, put the drive drive on a steady surface, plugged everything in, made sure the connections were really good. I worked very carefully not to jog anything, just to make sure that it wasn't human error. And nope, same thing, kept crashing. In the course of like a half an hour, my session that I was editing in Final Cut crashed about six times. Now, every time you're editing a video and suddenly your drive gets disconnected, some code is broken. And so I decided to run Disk Utility First Aid, which repairs permissions. If you're a Mac person, you should know what I'm talking about, but that's the topic for another video. 
how to maintain your Mac using Disk Utility. Anyway, I decided to run Disk Utility after the drive had just disconnected and crashed my Final Cut session for the sixth time in a row. And Disk Utility crashed! Disk Utility, a program that you run when your computer crashes or a program crashes so it could fix your computer. Oh, I can't make this stuff up. So I was totally devastated now. Of course, what did I do? Call Apple? No, I did my Googles. So I go online, I start looking for this same problem. And I saw this one video that illustrates how this guy had a phone port, he had an Android phone and the charger kept falling out and he discovered that it was lint. Basically from being in his, in his pocket, his phone developed so much dust and grime and pocket lint that the cable wasn't securely getting all the way in. It was just not enough to click. If you notice on my phone, I don't know if you can hear it. It makes a little sound, but it wasn't enough to, to click in. And so his cable kept falling out. So he got a little needle and he went in there and scraped it and blew on it and got out a lot of dust and a lot of pocket lint. And then that solved his problem. But that's not what my problem is. I took a look in the ports. There's no dust, no debris, no dirt, even though it's quite an old MacBook. So I called Apple. Company has so-called legendary tech support. They've always come through for me over the years, since 1999 till today. I do have some issues that I, I get upset at certain things. These USB-C ports are now on that list of things that I don't like about Apple, but they usually are very helpful uh, when you give them a call. So I called and tech support told me, try re imaging and reinstalling the OS. So if it's a driver thing, it'll be corrected. If it's physical, then you can bring it into the store. Then I did a reinstall. Well, it helped. I'm now not getting disconnects from my drive. So that cleared that up. Perhaps there was a driver uh, related to the USB ports that had gotten a little corrupted and the reinstall fixed that code and now it's reading. So maybe it wasn't actually the cable coming loose, but just the connection dropping. Because remember, I set it still and didn't shake anything and the cable was all the way in. It still kept breaking connection. However, the power cord is still disconnecting. So I tried two different power cords and see if maybe it was a short in that cord. And I noticed that my phone clicks in better. So I did some experimentation, plugging in the phone using my MacBook cable. It still clicked. And then plugging in the Mac using my phone cable, wanting to see if this charger might work better on my computer, just in terms of staying in, I attached it also to my MacBook, but it didn't click. Something is securing the cable in the phone. I don't know if there's a magnet in there or a little piece of something that holds it and clicks in, but something is holding it. Upon inspection, the phone charger USB-C cable is actually physically taller. I'm gonna show it to you guys that the phone charger is slightly thicker, a little bigger than the MacBook charger. Let's put this close side by side. Oh, it's hard to compare. It might look negligible to you, but when I looked at them, in my opinion, this one is actually a little thicker. Now they have specs when they make these and they should be exactly the same size. But eyeballing it, I can see that this one is smaller than this one, ever so slightly smaller. And that makes a difference. Does this mean there's a range of thickness and different companies make different cables? That sounds so strange to me, but no doubt about it, the phone cable is slightly bigger and it fits more snugly. Let's do a little experiment where I'll plug my MacBook charger into the phone. Oh, that also is able to hold it. It's really clicking in. It's something in the phone. So it's the port. The port is more secure on the phone. And I wish that Apple had put something like that into their computer, but alas, they didn't. And then after doing some more Googles, I found this. Apparently, this is a known thing. Mac USB-C ports start out tight, and then as they get older, usually about six months in, they wear out from use. Now, mine didn't wear out in six months. I've had my MacBook for about three years. So maybe it's just getting worn out. I think maybe I'll bring my USB ports in to get repaired. However, I have been thinking lately of trading my current MacBook in for one with the new M1 chip. So maybe I won't bother. Just let them have their MacBook back with the loose worn out USB-C ports. Everything else about my MacBook I've loved, but I really want to try 
try the uh, the M1 chip. But really, Apple, when you figure out something is not up to snuff on your products, why don't you fix them? Shouts to Lewis Grossman, another technology YouTuber who talks a lot about Apple defects in certain devices, certain model phones, iPads, laptops, etc. over the years and how Apple just keeps on making them without fixing that bug or design flaw. Anyway, what do you guys think? Should I get the M1 MacBook or just bring this one in and have the ports refitted? I think it's going to cost about $80. Have you ever had this problem before? Have you had any problems with an Apple product that was just a defect or design flaw? And were you able to do anything about it? What other brands of products have you used that have had certain issues and idiosyncrasies? Let us know in the comments. And while you're there, let me know what are the biggest breakthroughs, new devices, and other technology issues you want me to talk about in a future tech talk on the CyberSky channel. That's all for today. See you next time. Stay positive. Remember the best revenge is success. Stay healthy, my friends. And as always, stay blessed. <laughs>